It's January 20th. It's Wednesday, 2010. What is up? Hope you're having a good day. Spencer Atkins here with you. It's been cold. It's been clammy. Let's show you what's going on. We're going to use the weather model that we call the GFS. All the weather models in pretty good agreement to get you through here. What's going on? Now we're looking out. This is 36 hours. So this takes us into Thursday afternoon. More showers obviously rolling across the region. Two areas of low pressure, one off the east coast, one out to the west of us. Let's say maybe even in southern Illinois. And I've drawn, I've drawn a little red arrow just to show you that quite often you get a double barrel low like this, but the energy scoots right across from the low on the left or to the west out to the one on the east. So showers will race across us, but there's also cold air trapped in the mountains of West Virginia. So a little freezing rain there. The rest of us just kind of a chilly rain at times on Thursday. Let's jump ahead. Friday afternoon, there goes that low. It's out to sea now and things are drying out around West Virginia, Ohio and Kentucky and Virginia. High pressure up across, let's say, uh, northern stretches of Canada. That's going to dry things out now as we roll into Saturday. And the temperature really not too bad for this time of year. Now we're looking at Saturday night. We have the high that's drifting away out to sea. We have a new low out across the plains coming off the Rockies. And because they're so close together, the wind will really pick up. I know it's thousand miles there easily, but uh, on the globe, it's pretty close by. And that will develop a pretty strong south wind into our neighborhood. So we'll be very mild, have a very nice day on Saturday, followed by Sunday with showers rolling through very windy showers. And then you see a new low forming out to the west, another high out to the farther west. And that is going to create a breeze that follows that red arrow coming in out of the north and scooping in from the west. So heavy rain early on Sunday, say from mid morning on, and then things will begin to uh, dry out briefly. The dry slot before the next low cruises over with colder air, rain on Monday, lighter showers, but a chance of that changing into snow showers Monday into Tuesday. So that's a little look at the weather models. And by the way, there you go. That is Monday late. Those would be rain and snow showers mixed and a northwesterly fetch of air, making it feel a little bit more like winter. So that's a look at the weather models here on the Weather Blender blog. Again, we hope that you have a great night. Check back for more updates throughout the week.